you do wrong things, mainly harming others, you get negative consequences. The basis of genuine friendship is trust. Trust depends on openness. As some say some be good person, some say bad person, that doesn't matter. So long my own motivation for thinking is honest, sincere. That's that's important. Top ten, I got a top ten. Top ten. Got my motivation high for my top ten. Top ten. Gotta learn from the wise women and men. Need motivation? Watch the top 10 with Believe Nation. Hey, it's Evan Carmichael, and this channel was created to help you overcome the number one challenge that is holding you back, a lack of belief in yourself. You watch these videos because you know there's something more inside you too. You have Michael Jordan level talent at something. So get ready to help others, don't care what others say, and pay attention to your inner values with the Dalai Lama and my take on his top 10 rules of success to give you the confidence, motivation, and belief that you need. Joy. Okay, let's kick it off with rule number one, help others. The ultimate source of uh, satisfaction within ourselves, if you do wrong things, mainly harming others, you get negative consequences. If you do helping others, bring more happiness to others, you get benefit. More inner strength there, and more sort of confidence of purpose of life and fulfillment about that purpose, then you always feel happy. Rule number two, don't care what others say. If the rest of the people really feel uh, me as a politician, and furthermore, bad politician, <laughs> then I feel sad. <laughs> a, cunning, a cunning liar politician, then, and of course, no problem, no problem. <laughs> some say some be good person, some say bad person, that doesn't matter. So long my own motivation for thinking is honest, sincere. That's, that's important. That's simple Buddhist monks. Actually, you see, Buddha, you see, taught. Don't care for the others, others saying. If one say too much praise, then at that time should think, oh, I also have the critics. And then uh, once say you see a lot of, lot of criticism, then you should think, oh, some people praising me. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Too much sort of because they pay much attention. These things are silly. Rule number three: pay attention to your inner values. The ultimate source of happy life is our inner value. So therefore, irrespective of whether believer or non-believer whether believe religion or not, uh, see, we should pay more attention about our inner value. Now scientists, uh, now, according latest to scientific findings, uh, uh, it now sort of clear, even uh, good health or healthy body, the healthy mind, it's very essential. More peaceful mind uh, brings healthy body because mind calm, uh, peaceful. Then our healthy, uh, I mean our body sort of element also you see then remain more balanced. So that brings healthy body. And too much stress. Too much worry, uh, disturb our body element. That creates uh, certain sort of problems about this body. So therefore, calm mind is very essential. Rule number four, be calm. I think you should realize the anger uh, may bring some kind of energy, a short moment, a short period. But that energy is actually blind energy. And anger really destroys 
your, how should the uh, part of your brain which can judge the uh, I'm right or wrong. So when we fully sort of develop anger, we can't see the reality. So that energy more bold, right? Uh, but that energy is blind energy. Uh, so, the, in order to face the problem, our method should be, as I mentioned earlier, realistic. In order to carry realistic method, you must know the reality. When we look the reality, when we investigate the reality, our mind should be calm. Otherwise, we cannot see the thing objectively. So, in order to use human intelligence properly, our mind should be calm. So, thinking this line, anger, you see, firstly, destroy your inner peace. Secondly, destroy your ability to, to investigate the reality. So, uh, you think this line, then once you have clear sort of awareness, anger is no use, only destruction. Also, if you want to have more confidence, check out my 254 series. They're free. The link to join are in the description below. No one on planet Earth can stop you from accomplishing and achieving what you want. It's easy to make a buck, very hard to make a difference. The quality of your life is essentially determined by how you carry this one, yes or no? Rule number five, have compassion. Affection or compassionate uh, attitude, warm-heartedness uh, is very, very important for one's own well-being, one's own happiness. So don't consider practice of compassion is something religious matter, or practice of compassion is something good for others, not necessarily to oneself. That's a totally mistake. So, since from childhood we already equipped this seed of compassion, we learned from mother and ourselves in order to become parent, the seed already there. Now that seed we must keep nurture whole our life. <clears throat> the biological factor of compassion is limited, biased, and more depend on others' attitude. Now that as a seed, then using reasons, awareness, uh, that seed, compassion, uh, can develop, can further develop unbiased compassion not based on, not depend on others' attitude, but rather others' being itself. So that kind of compassion can reach your enemy or entire sentient being. So that compassion is infinite compassion, unbiased compassion, real compassion. So, if we become compassionate person, then your life becomes meaningful. Because you yourself happy, calm, peaceful, your friend or including animals also you see get peace. So at the last day of our life you feel happy. Now all my life I'll spend peaceful, friendly, then you really feel happy. Otherwise, at that, that moment, even you are a billionaire, those money, nothing can be used, no matter what is a good, because of the good body, a beautiful body, all, everything have to, have to leave. So at that time, I think genuine satisfaction can bring, if your whole life spent more compassionate life, then you feel, oh, no regret. 
So, purpose of life is naturally happy life, meaningful life. So, in order to make meaningful life, ultimately, warm heartedness is the key factor. Rule number six be determined. Then, another important、uh, factor is determination. And you should not think you see, this development can take place within a few days or a few years. We must understand you see, that this development even may take eons. <laughs> <coughs> so, you see, our determination, if we, if we、uh, sorry, consider as a Buddhist、uh, and, and, and want to really、uh, practice you see, Buddha Dharma. Then, right from the beginning, you must, you see, make up your mind. Or, doesn't matter, even may take millions of billions, billions of eons, doesn't matter. You see, the,、uh, the, what's the, after all, what is the purpose of our life? The meaning of existence?、Uh, nothing. You realize something、uh, positive. Then, even you see, days and months or eons. Uh, it is meaningful. If you really wasting our life, purpose of our life, then even one day, too long.、Uh, so,、uh, once you determine, once you make up your mind, some kind of firm determination and clear as the objective way.、No. Uh, and then time is not important. So they like to shut the doors. So one, one of you see, there, there's so long space remain. So long sentient beings,、uh, say, uh, suffering remain. I will remain in order to serve. Because that sentence really is, gives me some kind of inner strength. And also, I think, inspiring. So the more sort of, you see, the impatience. And as I mentioned before, you see, the, Want something the quickest or best or something, then I think the result also poor is that. <laughs> the cheapest method, quickest, cheapest method, result will be poorest. <laughs> so, you see, no. so you see, that's I think wrong. So that I would like to share with you.、Uh, so that's why you see, I myself, although you see,、uh, recite you see, some mantra or you see, some visualization, you see, certain mandalas, but my, in my daily practice, Although my practice is very poor, very poor. But even then, you see, there are my see, main emphasis on this four noble truth and Buddhichitta and Karuna. So that really, I feel, is something practical benefit. Then through these practices, you will get something practical benefit. Realization is a big deity. s、uh, Sometimes I think the、uh, sorry, cheating oneself. Almost, almost you see, like is it cheating oneself?、Uh, right? Deceiving oneself. Deceiving, one, <coughs> deceiving one, oneself.、Uh, so, therefore, uh, uh, I think you see, we, we must you see, practice step by step and with patience, with determination. <coughs> Once you involve or dedicate it or determined practice, then some improvement you can see. You see, year by year, decade by at least decade by decade, then you can see, oh, at least some change, some, some improvement you can see. Once you, once you see that, that also gives you, gives you some kind of new encouragement. So, you see, change,、uh, not easy. Not easy. Rule number seven meditate. When we、uh, feel. Uh, certain sort of irritation. During that moment, if that person c o n c e n t r a t e fully on the breathing, nothing else. And breathing one, two, three, like five, ten, fifteen, twenty. When you start breathing, m e n t a l s t a t e irritated. But then after twenty, thirty、uh, sort of、uh, breathing, Uh, your mental state will be a little different, a little more calm. Since we are dealing with emotions, so the best method to deal with that is 
so-called meditation. Not for next life, not for heaven, <laughs> but is it for day to day's well being? Rule number eight keep things in perspective. Do you believe that your time on here on earth has been a success? Success? Uh, that also relative. Some feel, I think, some achievement there, yeah? and some feel failure. So difficult to say. I think all human life like that. Some part failure, some part achieve. <laughs> it is wrong to pick up one thing, then say, oh, very success, wrong. And uh, pick up one thing, or failure, that also wrong. Things are relative. Rule number nine, develop friendships. We are social animal. We human beings, social animal. Uh, and particularly, in modern time, the reality, economy, environment, and many things heavily interdependent. That's the reality. Uh, unlike, I think, uh, uh, past sort of as the ancient time, ancient time more or less independent, self-sufficient. You see, not depend. Your interest, not not uh, your interest or your future, not depend on other. Now, completely change. So even from the selfish viewpoint, you have to take care about others' well-being. You just think yourself, uh, the blind selfish. Think yourself, forget other, or worst thing, exploit other. Cheating other, bully other, ultimately you suffer. Through this mischievous way, you may gain some temporary sort of benefit, but in deep insight, you feel uncomfortable. Then eventually, you truly become a lonely person. Nobody loves you. Nobody respects you. If you take care of other, as a human brother, sisters, sincerely, uh, uh, seriously, then everybody becomes your friend. Uh, so, when you have truly trusted friend there, if you need something, you can ask them. If you becoming friendless or lonely person, and when you really facing some problems, nobody you can share. So ultimately, we are social animal. So even other animal, no law, no education, no religion, but you see, they have some kind of sort of feeling. Uh, their own individual survival depend on rest of the community or herds. So they work together. I'm one of the individual out of uh, seven billion human being. If human being Rest of the human being, happy, peaceful, I get maximum benefit. The rest of the world get trouble. How can I escape from that? And with that feeling, when I meet people, one or two, one, one people, or one person, or 10 people, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, I always consider them as my brothers, sisters. That brings me, in, in mental level, completely relaxed. If I feel I'm something different from them, then some nervousness, <laughs> some anxiety may develop. So once your own way of thinking, open, uh, reach out to them as a close friend, that tremendous sort of benefit, peace of mind then others also feel, no longer feel stranger. Another human brothers like that. So that I think we really, nowadays, we really need that. So through that way, awareness. Then from children, I think youngsters, I think they know they just one child remain lonely, may cry, and play with other children. Feel very happy. <laughs> 
So that's the human nature. So sometimes we grown up, then we always calculate if I make friend friendship with that, how much I get some benefit, <laughs> or make friendship, then I can exploit or something. Then, then genuine basis of friendship no longer there, destroyed. Basis of genuine friendship is trust. Trust depend on openness. Like that. So, through these things, we can train. And then, the mental level, no matter what, your physical level, busy. But mental level, always calm, restful, relaxed. Immense benefit for your health. So, mental health, body health, very close link. So, the ultimate source of mental health is warm-heartedness. That's my belief. Maybe wrong. <laughs> my friend have to research more research work. <laughs> and rule number 10, the last one before a very special bonus clip is share funny stories. When I was young, uh, I have some different birds. So one small parrot. Uh, see, my uh, one was the official. Uh, they feed that uh, parrot. So therefore, whenever that is a person is approach to that sort of uh, parrot, uh, the parrot always <coughs> is he, showing some very excite, excitement or something like that. Then the, that official is he, gives some nuts, and then while the parrot is he, eating, the, the the official's finger, you see, on the on the on the head of the parrot, go like that. Then the parrot is showing special sort of a friendly attitude. So I developed some jealousy. <laughs> huh? So I also is the one that kind of response from that parrot. <laughs> so I'm Dalai Lama. So, <laughs> so therefore, you see, the must show is the more sort of so that friendly. <laughs> so, poor animal, you see, do not know that. So, so in any way, in any way, I try uh, to develop that kind of friendship. So, uh, a few days, I try to give some nuts. Hmm? Then that parrot take the nuts. Then showing very negative attitude. <laughs> then I lost my temper. <laughs> I use some tin stick <laughs> to discipline, <laughs> disciplinary action. <laughs> so after that, no hope, no friendship. <laughs> Now I have a special bonus tip from the Dalai Lama on how to conquer yourself that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, it's time for the three point landing questions. Let's go from just watching a video to taking action. Here we go. Question number one, who can you help as an act of service this week? Number two, which of your inner values do you need to pay more attention to? And number three, whose opinions do you need to stop listening to? And if you like this video and promise you take action after watching it, we don't just watch videos, we take action. Put a hashtag believe down in the comments below, make that promise to yourself, and then get to work. The important thing is, uh, is it that afflicted emotion, sorry, afflicted mm -hmm. emotion, is, is the ultimate is the enemy or the source of suffering. And, and also, the, is it that is the afflicted emotion. Once it uh, develops so, uh, within our mind, it immediately it destroy our peace of mind. And eventually it destroy our health. And also it destroy our friendship with other people. So all these negative activities, such as killing, or bullying, cheating, all these negative actions is, come out of this effective emotion. Uh, so, you see, that's the real enemy. That's the destroyer of our peace. Destroyer of our fortune. 
and including our health. So therefore, that's the enemy, real enemy. External enemy, today may be harmful to you, but next day may be very helpful. But this is the inner enemy, always remain as a uh, destructive. And moreover, that enemy, wherever you live, always there. That is very dangerous. Uh, external enemy, we can put some you see, defensive you see, measure. And the, and also, you see, uh, like you see, 59, uh, we escaped. <laughs> so, you see, we can, we can escape. Uh, but there is this, this enemy, even whether in Tibet or whether in Potala, whether in Dansala, whether in, 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 here in, in London, enemy, wherever I go, this enemy there. Even I think some, some kind of meditation, some kind of the visualization of mandala. Still, in the very center of the mandala, that enemy is still there. <laughs> so, uh, this is the point now. We have to realize that. Now, because, so you see, the, uh, the real destroyer of our happiness, always there. How to do now? Uh, if there is, I would say, uh, no possibility, if, if there is uh, no possibility to overcome that, to eliminate that, then I think better forget. And I think, uh, I think relying more alcohol, sex, all these things, <laughs> much better. If there is possibility is it to eliminate that, then I think now we must take this good opportunity, this is human body, human brain, human good heart. Combine these two things. Try is it, to reduce that and eventually eliminate. So therefore, is it, Buddhist, according to Buddhist teaching, our human body is precious. Why? Because of human intelligence. And it is shaping or it is changing our mind, not only through emotion, but mainly through intellectuals, reasoning. And there are two kinds of emotion. One emotion without any reason, just as a fear, such as if hatred or these things. Of course, there are superficially some reasons for well, this person is very sort of harming on me, uh, and then through that kind of analysis, you see, you develop hatred. But in deep down, and further goes, there's not much, you see, reasons. So, you see, these emotions without, without proper sort of reasons, that's the negative emotion. And the other kind of emotion, such as compassion, altruism, a kind of emotion, but with reasons. And to further investigate, you can prove that is something good, that is something necessary, that is something useful. So that kind of emotion is all the type of emotion, but very much validated. Now, um, very much go uh, well with reasons or inter intelligence. So the combination, intelligence and emotion, that is the way to change, to change our, uh, our inner world. So, so that also, I think, the, 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 how say, the, the, the basic fundamental, the uh, suffering nature, right? suffering nature. So long, that enemy there, so long we are under that enemy's control. Uh, no permanent happiness. So once you develop some kind of keen desire uh, to overcome that enemy, now that is the uh, so that is called um, that is the true um, uh, realization of the aspiration to seek freedom, uh, which is technically called uh, renunciation in in the Buddhist uh, language. So, so you see, we uh, uh, this practice they analyze our emotional level and our inner, inner world is the very important, is the key, key practice. If you want to see the top 10 I did on Sadhguru, check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. Just labor is not going to get you somewhere. Right kind of action, the right timing, right place, all this is important.